In a healthy eye, a clear fluid called aqueous humor flows in an unobstructed manner from the anterior chamber of the eye through a three-layered network of cells called the trabecular meshwork. The aqueous then passes into a circular channel known as Schlem's canal, where it is freely distributed through a series of veins into the bloodstream. When these natural drainage mechanisms are obstructed and not functioning properly, resistance to aqueous outflow increases and the intraocular pressure, or IOP, inside the eye begins to rise. This pressure increase is a major risk factor that can be related to glaucoma, a silent, progressive, lifelong eye disease that can lead to vision loss. The hydrus microstent from Ivantis creating a new generation of glaucoma devices has been designed to alleviate the resistance to aqueous flow in the eye. First, it creates an optimal pathway through the obstructed trabecular meshwork. Second, it provides support to Schlem's canal and alleviates its collapse by gently dilating it, thereby allowing for the unobstructed circumferential flow of aqueous into its series of aqueous outflow veins. Made of nitinol and covered with titanium oxide, the hydrus microstent is a minute, highly biocompatible and flexible support structure that is normally neither seen nor felt by the patient. In fact, the hydrus is so sleek in form that its shape and size is often compared to an eyelash. When implanted, the hydrus microstent dilates Schlem's canal by holding its tissues open. Its open channel design allows aqueous to flow along the length of the scaffold, along its spines, and through its frames. The hydrus microstent is introduced using similar methods as in routine cataract surgery. The hydrus cannula is inserted through an opening in the cornea, where it is directed across the eye and positioned near Schlem's canal. Once in position, the cannula engages the trabecular meshwork, guiding the microstent into Schlem's canal. The tiny implant is then gently advanced. Its highly flexible, rounded frame design provides for a smooth passage into the flow channel. The hydrus is advanced until the device has fully exited the delivery cannula. The cannula is then removed from the canal through the trabecular meshwork and withdrawn from the eye. Once implanted, the hydrus microstent opens and dilates these complex ocular structures. Its large inlet, with nine times the cross-sectional area of the natural anatomy, allows for maximum aqueous flow. Additionally, the length of the hydrus ensures sufficient dilation of 90 degrees around Schlem's canal, while its thin-walled, open architecture allows for continued dilation of Schlem's canal. The hydrus microstent providing optimized aqueous outflow designed to reduce intraocular pressures in the eye. The hydrus microstent from Ivantis, creating a new generation of glaucoma devices.